from the studios of the evangelist ministry, we spread the good news about Jesus Christ and his saving grace. Our mission is to lead people into a growing relationship with Jesus Christ. Good morning to you all. My dear friends, the topic of this morning is how to increase our faith. This morning we open the Bible and we read 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 1 to 4. The Bible said this way, Paul and Silvanus and Timotheus unto the church of Thessalonia in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We are bound to thank God always for you. Brothers, as it is me, because that your faith grow exceedingly, and the charity of every one of you all toward each other abound. So that we are self glory in you and the churches of God. For your passion and faith in all your persecution and tribulation that you might endure. My dear friends, have you ever think about how to increase your faith? I think about daily basis. How to get better and better servant for God. Paul said, we are bound to thank God always for you, brothers, as it is fitting because your faith grow exceedingly and the love of every one of you all abounds toward each other. Said, verse 3, do you remember? Verse 3, knowing the faith is not quantity, my friends, but quality and submission. What are some practical steps you can take to increase your level of faith today? Number one, my friends. Obviously, number one, how to increase my faith is to read my Bible. Read the Bible. The Bible explains very clear. Faith comes from hearing and hearing by the Word of God. That is, you must feed your faith and a steady diet <clears throat> of God's words. So, the Bible said this way. So, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, according to Romans chapter 10, verse 17. And then, my dear friends, let's think about this verse. The verse said, let me say it again. So, faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Romans 10 verse 17. So the word required that is necessary here to believe. Here to believe. Here is so that we can have faith. Faith comes as a product of hearing the word of God. No? That's what the Bible said. That is, the person gives his faculty of hearing and understanding. That is, you must feed your faith with a steady diet of the Word of God. For what? To increase your faith. Now, we must exercise our faith. As you can see, faith alone is not enough. This is what the Bible said, that faith alone is not enough. So, also faith by itself, it does not have work, is dead. Even so, faith, if it has no work, is dead, it's been alone. Said the book of James, chapter 2, verse 17. My dear friends, as an example, a bodybuilder doesn't begin by lifting 500 pounds. It is not true. Have you ever been in gymnastics? Have you ever gone to the gym? When you start lifting weights, you start from the very bottom. 
Maybe you start lifting 10 pounds, and then 20 pounds, and then 30 pounds, and then 50 pounds, and here we go up and up and up. We increase him our weight. So my dear friends, exercise your faith. As you can see, faith alone is not enough. Does also faith by itself, it doesn't have work, is dead. This is what the Bible said. Even so, faith, if it had not work, is dead being alone. James chapter 2, verse 17. So let's come back to the bodybuilder. Doesn't begin by lifting 500 pounds at the first day. I explained to you already how we start to do that. Rather, rather we exercise daily, gradually increasing our strength. Regularly exercising faith can bring about similar growth spiritually. If you exercise your faith in daily basis, you will see that your faith will increase. Obviously, will increase in time. So, the other point that we want to discuss with you is embrace trials. First, Peter reveals the difficulty through that adversity when addressed in God's power creates greater faith. Just as a fire purified precious metal, hardship strip away all by the pure core of faith Say First Peter chapter one verse two three or nine. When you have a chance, you go and read your Bible. First Peter chapter one verse three to verse nine. You also, when you have the opportunity, you can read Romans chapter five verse three to the six. And then we read the Bible. We exercise our faith. We embrace trials. So we examine the testimony of others. How the other, the other person, my other brother in Christ, increased his faith? I can see that he's more faithful than I am. But how that happened? Well, examine the testimony for others. A testimony is an individual's own account of the Lord's activity in his life. We all have one particular testimony. No one can ever deny, refute, or, de or downplay someone else's testimony. When you hear of God's mighty deeds in another person's life, you first, your faith grow. It is not true. When I see somebody else is growing in faith better than me, I think about it. How this man did that? And I just want to know. Why? Because I want to practice the same practice he's been doing. That's the way we're supposed to be. <clears throat> so my dear friends, when you hear God's mighty deeds in another person's life, your own faith grow. In a negative or positive way, the Bible said, Wherefore, comfort yourself together and edify one another, even as also you do. Say First Thessalonians chapter five, verse eleven. But the Bible said, "But grow in grace, grow in grace, and and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be glory, both now and forever." Said Second Peter chapter three, verse eighteen. Now we see we read the Bible. We exercise our faith. We embrace trial. We examine the testimony of others to grow. But we also, we have a point very specific. Pray. Pray. Prayers is the most powerful tool that every Christian has in his personal life. Now, pray. You get to know someone by talking to him. It is true. No. Yes. When you're talking to somebody. And the way he talks. And his behavior. The way he talks. So you get to know him. So you get to know someone by talking to him. That's what a prayer is. Your personal. Communication with God. 
He get to know you, and you get to know him. But don't just talk. Be sure to spend time listening to God. Because in your prayer, God wants to talk to you also. Don't be you the only one, the talker. Allow him to talk. Because in your prayers, God wants to talk to you. Wow. My dear friend, be sure to spend time listening. God wants to speak to you. Peter said, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But grow in grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory now and forever, said Second Peter chapter 3, verse 18. Pray without ceasing, but also learn to be a good listener. You have to listen. God wants to talk to you. When you pray, when you talk to God, God wants to talk to you back also. Give him the opportunity because he wants to talk to you. He wants to talk to me on a daily basis. But one thing, we read the Bible. We exercise your faith. We embrace trial. We examine the testimony of others. We pray. But also, we must practice obedience. This is point, very important point. Practice obedience. My dear friends, this is, is the truth. And don't take me wrong. You will never grow your faith if you consistently or consistently disobey what God told you to do. You will not grow spiritually, my friends, if you disobey what God told you to do. Perfect faith is by a product of obedience. The Bible said this way, my dear friends, in the book of Isaiah, put yourself in a position to see God best for your life and your, and your faith will soar. The Bible said this way, Come now and let us reason together. Do you see? He said, let us reason together. He wants to talk to you while you're talking to him. He also wants to talk to you. He said, come now and let us reason together, say the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as the snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. My dear friends, let's think about this. Faith does not increase by accident. Like many people think, oh, God is going to work on me. I have no faith, but God will work on me. No, my dear friend, faith does not increase by accident. Time, dedication, and intentionally. Ask the Lord to help you exercise your faith. My dear friend, faith does not increase by accident or by time or by dedication or intentionally. Ask the good Lord to help you exercise your faith from now on. My dear friends, I tell you this morning, the Bible said, we are bound to thank God always for you, brother, as it is me, because that your faith grow exceedingly. My dear friends, thank you for the opportunity that you gave me this morning to enter into your house, into your living room, and bring the gospel, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you, and God bless. Amen.